Are you making a fashion mistake that's aging you? And a big thank you to Ada Belts for today's sponsored post. And thank you, my lovely subscribers, for supporting the brands that allow me to bring you fresh ideas. Want to keep people guessing about your real age? Let's start by avoiding these common style mistakes and beauty blunders that women of a certain age make. No one wants to look frumpy or out of date, but we don't want to fall into the trap of age-appropriate style. Too many of us start to question what we can wear after the age of 40, 50, or 60. Shorts, sleeveless top, skirts above my knees. Do I have to set these items away forever? Honestly, clothes have sizes, ladies, not ages. So I'm of the mindset to wear items that you feel comfortable and confident in. Style is always about stepping out the door in confidence, and clothes help us do just that. Some of us may not realize what makes an outfit look frumpy, which is another way of saying out of date. Whether you're 25 or 55, clothing is an essential part of our persona. An ill-fitting blazer or outdated jeans will instantly date you, whether you're 25 or 55. But as we age, there are a number of things we can do that can give off an older vibe, and no one wants that. It's my mission to age with grace, strength, and beauty. That's what a few simple yet sophisticated style tips come in handy to help keep us looking modern, fresh, and relevant. So my first tip is don't wear the wrong size bra. If we're not wearing the right undergarments, even the most spectacular outfit can go awry. It's somewhat akin to building a house. The foundation is laid first. This is the most important step. Wearing the wrong bra isn't just uncomfortable, as basically anyone who's ever sat through a workday with their bra straps digging into their shoulders can attest to, but it can affect the way your clothes fit and inadvertently cause you to slouch, both of which instantly age you more than 10 years. Believe it or not, the right size bra can instantly make you look taller, thinner, and more youthful, but the wrong size bra makes you look shorter, older, and heavier. That's how important this undergarment truly is. The clasp should be on the loosest hook to begin with and made tighter as the bra stretches over time. When it's on the last hook, time for a new bra. I suggest a twice yearly bra fit session. All reputable department stores from Neiman Marcus to JCPenney have trained bra fit specialists that will equip you with your proper measurements. It's a service they offer at no charge to their customers. Why twice a year? Because bras are one of the hardest working items in your closet. And because of that, they have a shorter lifespan. In the space of only six months, your body may have changed, including your breast size, due to an illness, hormonal changes, or just plain losing or gaining weight. Once you know your correct bra size, then it's a matter of deciding what brand you like. In my opinion, bras are like jeans. We're always on the hunt for the perfect one. So don't be afraid to carve out an afternoon in your schedule and try on every brand known to mankind. Once you find the perfect match, the hard part is over. Remember, the band should be snug when hooked on the first row. And as I mentioned before, over time the band will stretch out. What are my favorite brands? Simone Perel and Wacol are always my top two choices, with Chantel coming in third. There are three types of bras I keep in rotation and two colors. First, I always have a nude colored bra or flesh tone at my beck and call as it will go underneath even the sheerest blouse with ease. Next, I add on a black bra. Once these two basic colors are folded neatly in my lingerie drawer, then it's up to my individual aesthetics as to what additional colors find their way into the lineup. Now onto the three types of bras that I also keep on hand. First up is a push-up or plunge bra that is perfect underneath special occasion or evening wear. This is the bra that gives a nice lift and adds a bit of cleavage. Next on my list is a minimizer. Many of you may not need this type, but this is the bra I reach for when I wear my button-up shirts. It keeps me in place and my buttons fastened. And last but not least is the t-shirt bra that gives smooth coverage with its molded cups and fits beautifully underneath my beloved tees and sweaters. So my next style tip is do update your style. Ever notice someone that's stuck in a time warp? 
Maybe their makeup looks like it's from the 80s, or their hairstyle is so 1999. It's easy to do when you have more than a decade or two underneath your belt and seeing many trends come and go. But when we stop analyzing ourselves or playing and experimenting with makeup, hair, and fashion, it's all too easy to get stuck in our favorite decade. So when was the last time you updated your look? Your hairstyle, glasses, jewelry, and makeup, not to mention your clothes. Listen, I'm a classic style girl through and through. Classic style has staying power and is truly sophisticated and chic, but I also know it can look stale and stodgy if I'm not careful, which is why I always keep one eye on the trends and recommend you do too. Updating my wardrobe with new pieces every year is key, but I also update my hairstyle frequently too. I'm certain you may have a friend or two that hasn't changed their hairstyle in over 30 years, and some may even be wearing the same hairstyle they wore in college. I love a classic bob or a pixie as much as you do, but there are different bob styles that evolve year after year, the same with pixies. So pay attention to what hairstyles are in vogue this year to stay current. And the same goes with makeup palettes. I absolutely loved a blue eyeshadow back in the day. This year, I'm loving brown and copper palettes. And my next style tip is don't shy away from belts. One fashion mistake that can age you is forgetting to add accessories such as a belt to your look. Leaving your top untucked can actually make you look bigger than you really are. And a belt is a surefire way to define your waist and make your silhouette appear slimmer. Since y'all know I have a love affair with belts and add them to any outfit, anytime, I'm thrilled to partner with Ada Belts today and show how to wear their wrap belt that comes in three colors, tan, cognac, and black, and three different widths. A beautiful leather belt screams luxury, and the more you use it, the better it looks. The wrap belt is contoured like a smiley face, and that's so it will hug nicely around your figure and give you a waistline. Place the smiley face up, bring the ties back and crisscross, then bring the ties to the front and tie the ties like a shoelace. Voila, a waistline in a cinch. And here's a fun fact about Ada Belts. They're a small family owned company that creates products for women who love fashion and believe accessories update and elevate your outfit. How many times have I shared that accessories make or break your outfit? That's why I'm a big believer in investing in belts. Today, Ada Belts is giving my subscribers 15% off your purchase with my code BETH15. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. And Ada Belts comes with instructions on how to tie it multiple ways. So today I've chosen three different outfits to showcase just how modern you can make an outfit with the addition of a belt, an Ada Belt. I love shirt dresses and wear them regularly, especially during the summer months but they can be shapeless, which gives off a frumpy vibe. When I add a leather Ada belt, it instantly adds a flattering shape. Pants with an elastic waistband can look frumpy, but not when you add a chic belt that can easily disguise the waistband. For this outfit, I started with crop pants from J. Crew that are perfect for a hot summer day. Pop on a crochet top and add an Ada belt that cinches in my waist and gives it definition. Drape a cardigan over the top and you have an outfit perfect for any casual event. The last outfit features a favorite color combo of mine, camel and white. It's crisp and clean and perfect for any hot summer day headed our way. I popped a silk tunic over a pair of slim fit white pants, but to add texture and visual interest, I added an Ada belt. It also gives definition so the tunic hugs my frame and adds structure, contrast and balance to an oversized top. And my next style tip is don't wear baggy clothes. Baggy clothes are no doubt the comfiest to wear and we love our comfort, especially at a certain age. It's an easy option when we're older, have a long to-do list and want to opt for comfort first. But baggy clothes are extremely unflattering and cover up your shape and not only send you directly into the frumpy zone, but makes you look years older than you actually are. Even if you don't have a flawless figure, and who does, besides supermodels and celebrities, you need to choose clothes that are the right fit for you and that will showcase your shape. Trying to hide under clothes that are shapeless actually makes you look heavier. If there are parts of your body where you don't feel comfortable with a tight fit, 
then choose clothes that skim over that area rather than choosing lots of voluminous fabric, which is very, very aging. And my next tip is do add accessories. As I mentioned earlier, accessories are the icing on the cake to any outfit. Many of us spend most of our time and energy picking out the perfect skirt or pant to go with a drool-worthy blazer, then completely forget about adding accessories before we dash out the door. Next time you're putting together that perfect outfit for work or weekend, remember to put just as much effort into picking out the right handbag, necklace, hats, shoes, or sunglasses. I like to add at least two to three accessories per outfit. Shoulder bags are a must-have item for any woman. It serves as a catch-all for our wallet, our favorite lip gloss, sunglasses, or even a snack. But if you want to add print, color, or texture to an otherwise basic outfit, opt for a snakeskin, rattan, or wicker handbag that will add personality to your outfit. And let's not forget hats that keep our heads warm in the winter, hide a bad hair day, or protect our eyes and skin from harmful UV rays. Plus, they make an outfit much more interesting and bold. Shoes are one of the most versatile accessories that can take any outfit from drab to fab. Of course, white sneakers are a go-to, but don't forget ballet flats, statement heels, or colored slides will immediately jazz up your outfit. And let's not forget jewelry will instantly elevate your outfit. Keep it simple with a pair of gold hoop earrings, or make a statement with layered necklaces or a cocktail ring. Have fun and play around with multicolored stacks of bracelets. And if you love content like this, it would so help the channel grow if you hit the subscription box down below. Always give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And the next tip is don't dress your age. I'm certain you've read those articles that dish out rules on what we can or cannot wear at 30, 40, 50 and beyond. Yes, our culture still has unspoken and spoken rules for what women can and can't wear after a certain age. Many style guides are restrictive and dictate what I should be wearing for my age and regularly tell me what I can no longer get away with. You'll notice colors fading, styles becoming basic, and we in turn become more and more invisible. Maybe you've heard women of a certain age can't rock leather trousers or wear short or bold prints. It's time to kick those outdated attitudes to the curb. These are the prime years of our lives. We're not over the hill, so no need to wear what we consider grandma clothes from here on out. But some grandma clothes are chic and sophisticated. We all watched the coastal grandmother trend leap into popularity last year. And honestly, it's a look that's anything but dowdy. It's a timeless classic look that any age can wear and wear well. Sure, a few women lose interest in fashion at a certain age and plunder big box stores for their fashion choices, but style conscious women know that thanks to advances in diet, fitness, and healthcare, our age seems to be less about acting a certain way and more about being the best version of ourselves. So don't buy into the myth about dressing our age. Remember, we can still be super chic and youthful as we age. So if you find yourself asking, am I too old to wear this? That's just ageism in disguise. So let's flip the script and ask, does this item fit my personal style? Is it sophisticated? Does it suit my lifestyle? These are the questions that need to be asked and answered because I've said it before and I'll say it again. Clothes have sizes, not ages. So have fun with your style and rock your outfits with confidence. Okay, gang, give me a big thumbs up. I know you love videos like this, so stay tuned to the next one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.